What's up guys, this is the Rofman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, this this Russian army and Russian stacks have wandered into my sights and I'm going to cause them to attack me as a fairly simple opportunity to wipe out some Russian troops and to make them fall back. So without further ado, let's crack on and fight. I can't remember if this is my... this is the army on the bridge. Either way, I'm feeling pretty confident that we will just hit them. They got some foot artillery, but they're lacking howitzers, so don't have to worry about things like quick lime. Yeah, I think it's going to be one of those battles that has a very, very favourable exchange ratio for us. Craft stack. Right, yeah, it is the bridge battle, so let's take you, get you all back. So we have a good old bridge here. It's the end of the zone, but there's usually... There it is. Ford. So what I want to do is... Oh, this would be... Okay, I want to put a unit of foot howitzers here, because dropping quicklime onto that bridge would be beautiful. Just like, attack move here, and it just goes... Pah, straight down over the bridge. That'd be great. So let's take the bulk of these regiment and a couple of elite units. So let's take five units. They can take up a position here to protect it or to um, to cover it. Let's put a unit of artillery here to fire across and then over here this is where the remains remainers will be. Position like so. Then let's take this infantry which will deploy around the breach. Then we'll have some cavalry on each flank, just in case, to protect. Pretty sure they're both coming from the same side. We'll soon find out. So I want to line you up right on the bridge. And I can't tell which direction you want to go first, so... Artillery is opened up. So these guys are going to stay back as reserve. Artillery. So let's move up this cavalry ready. Let's drop to pull you back like that. So let's get these guns to do counter battery. You're a militia unit. You get out of the way. Turn your firewall off. So everyone's gone square, square, square. get away with putting a Swiss line infantry unit there. So over on this front they should have charged a whole load of squares so that's not going to work out too well for them. Granted they are elite cavalry but they die as well as any others. T 
some fire will on. Stay in square because it looks like well the infantry can't make up their mind which way they're going to go. And here comes over some horse guards. So you guys may as well run yourselves into squares as well. Cavalry are coming again. Just a series of squares. Okay, I have to run these guys out of square because they've got actual infantry coming to help them out. And it looks like they aren't going to. Okay, so let's move. Guard a cheval over here. There we go. Here comes the first actual infantry unit. And let's get you guys to keep firing at the cuirassiers. Get back over here. Let's get the artillery to hit. Shooting of conscripts. Yeah, don't bother charging. They're getting engaging in gunfights on the bridge, so they're going to get a quick climb dropped on them. <gasps> here comes the volley. Look at all of those men! Just all of them, an entire lot of troops. 35 men, 20 men remaining. Yeesh. Good. Well, the cavalry's about to fall back. Let's do fire at will. So these guys will provide some shots into the backs of that cavalry. Turn fire will off. Let's get these guys out of square formation. And let's get them ready to provide fire into the crossing. To be honest, I think I'm going to take these cavalry and bring them over here. And I might just send you guys to hit that unit of garrison guards. Oh, when another volley comes in. You are going to get it, my son. Oh, they're crossing the bridge. They're crossing the uh, the ford. One more volley. So how many men here? 138. 55. Oh wow! They aren't able to make the crossing. They're out of range of canister. See another howitzer unit would be great here, but you know, I'll take what we can get. Go to this artillery unit. To be honest, I might limber them up and direct them a bit more towards this section to keep firing at them. Is that a gun? These mad lads moving up a horse, a piece of horse artillery.
Cossack infantry, conscripts have made contact. However, they will continue to be shot in the back. Junior Hussars has come back, but they're going to rout, yeah, as you'd expect. Junior Line Guards, are you firing? Line Infantry Guards, Garrison Guards, sorry. Come on. Not as many, but half of them. It's not bad. And we've also got some good shots on the unit behind them. Okay, so it's time to fall my infantry back. Deploy my cavalry. Let's walk my, this cavalry into this combat. Let's get ready to push across the river. So let's limber you up. So let's use my cavalry to lead my way across the bridge. So you, 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 you. This entire block of men melee. Let's storm across the river. That's right, you're kicking into gear now. You're trying to figure out what to do. Good idea might be to do this. Attack move, keep attack moving. My cavalry. Well, not attack moving, but just moving to try to get them through this infantry block. Or just charge then charge the back of it. will be good enough for them. Choose you to charge that unit of goons. Oh, the screen's just gone dark. Good. Let's keep the infantry as a homogeneous unit. Let's charge. Keep you charging in. Got to be bored of sitting around and covering the bridge. Good. You go straight into them. Let's take you, you, you. Good mercenaries. Let's 
charge into the general's bodyguard. Ultimately, I know this is going to be not as not quite as healthy for me as bridge camping is, but you know, it's more fun. Did a bit of a bit of a defence. We've moved into the attack. So let's move my cavalry in to go. I hate to hit the general's bodyguard. Well, you chase down the unit of conscripts. The guard Swiss. Let's get you involved. Cheval the guard. Dragoons, dragoons. Just lots of dragoons on foot. Move in. It's the general down. Let's run the guard Swiss into my into this uh, Semenevsky guard. We need to start taking some of these guys out. To be honest, get them all to hit the Semenevsky guard. them to hit this horse artillery unit. Actually, go take out that three pounder horse artillery unit. So they've got a solid block here to the right, but they're a bit more spread out on the left, so that could be their undoing, because we're going to be able to pick on them. So I know there's still, a, there's still an artillery unit in position, but I thought I may as well take this position, this uh, chance to easily wipe out a artillery unit. So what? Through the uh, third horse guards. Let's go hit that line infantry. Let's continue the fight. Let's halt fire here. You go after them. All of you go after them. Actually, one of you might pull off and go hit the general's bodyguard, I guess. And let's triple speed it. To be honest, by the looks of it, their uh, reinforcements didn't arrive. I think that's all of my cavalry now just free to target this the first regiment of foot the elite regiment of foot it's going to be utterly decimated in combat versus the French okay so let's run my infantry out of the way chop Excellent. So I lost more men than I needed to when I crossed than just holding back and doing a bit of bridge camping. I got my kicks using quick climb on the actual bridge itself. Yeah, still not bad. Three to one. Pushes them back. To be little scamps. But they can be mopped up later. Though we will have to spend money. Oh yes, I forgot about this though. We do have we have we have uh, landed in the rear areas of Russia, so we're causing them a, a few headaches. They're having fronts. So all those ain't doing nothing for you, chaps. Sorry. Yeah, trying to <laughs> trying to figure out what to do with them. Do we garrison? No, that's no good. I'm not gonna be surprised if they end up. Um, just trying to amphibious amphibious assault me. Oh, well, here comes the Swedes. Yep, yeah, that was always going to happen. But we'll make them pay. 
They'll all pay. He sailed onto the med to try and blockade me again. What's the point? Do we lose yet? Louisiana's on the move. The Mughals. There is unused land suitable for mm -hmm. farming in this region. Hello? Oh yeah, I, want, I wanted to see where that stack was going to end up, but I don't think I'm going to find out. So you maintain siege for now. So where are they going for? They're going for Annapolis. Some marines, some artillery, some of that. Let's get this up here just to start spitting out line infantry. Don't mind losing a bit of territory because it's not going to be a, it's not be a massive deal, I don't think. Let's create some farmland. You're on your way to be to be to an army, as are you. Might just bring this guy army up just to hit these two guys to mop them up. Just auto resolve battle. Yeah. Chop, chop, chop. Excellent. I'll replenish and get back into a good position. Good, good, good. Okay, so I'm at war with Sweden now? I am indeed. So. This army here. Okay, hold on, let's check my. So you, you're going to put you in there. You, you're going over there. So let's move you out. And then let's recruit. Well, am I recruiting anything now? Another elite unit of line. I've got my skirmishers, so I'll probably just get two units of regular infantry. Infantry pete, vous? God, the French get so many so many infantry units. But yes, in one turn, this army will be ready. I'll go and deploy them into, into Norway. Well, to be honest, let's move these guys to threaten Copenhagen. <laughs> then let's... How much is this worth to you? Lots. So let's blockade your port. Ah, so maybe not hit Norway, because that's why they've got lots of troops. Hit Copenhagen. Maybe go hit Finland. If I'm against the Russians, it might be a good idea. Well, as I'm against the Russians, it might be a good idea. Yep, another army being recruited. Well, lots of stuff being recruited. Is Spain helping me in this fight? But it's still hostile. But they're, no, they're at war with Russia, but not with Sweden. Create some of my farms. Okay. Hmm. To be honest, it's tempting to take this navy into Rostock. Take this army. Take my Berlin garrison, sorry. Deposit you into the army at Rostock. Take my navy. Move out. Hit Copenhagen. And then probably. Do I engage the Russians? Meh, don't really need to. I don't really have much stuff going on there, and I'm blockading all the trades, so probably just go back to Rostock. Let's repair it as a port. Then let's just get some infantry for a garrison. I'm not worried about the Russians sprinting for it. Hanover's converting. Good, good, good. Successful mission, Roger Fouquet. And Andre Bielger, Confident General. Cool. And you're there pretty much just as a solid garrison for when the Spanish eventually declare on us. 
Do you know, do you know, Crimea? Yeah, let's keep upgrading. I want to upgrade their military capabilities to make sure I can recruit tip top units. This little bonus I won't necessarily see now because I don't want to be at war with the, the Ottomans, but it will be a bonus I'll see in like a few turns. Okay, so now up here, you go finish off that stack of Mughals. Okay, what if I took just all this infantry and did it? Doesn't matter. Take him out. Can I leave this territory and then I'm not freak out? So if I did that, I can. So I can go down here and get ready to fight you. So I want to send one west in this direction, one east to go take Komi, which used to be Mughal, I think. Not anymore. I want to send you to go take Petrovskaya, you to take ust -Sayolsk. And then a handful of militia, just in case. Sweet. So you're waiting on some infantry. You are waiting on a unit of infantry to come from all the way down here. No, actually, that's what you're waiting for. Rose So that's one infantry unit, and then you need a light infantry unit. And let's get you something more elite. So what, you, what was that? Let's get you a unit of Swiss Guards and let's get you a unit of... Chasseur à pied. There we go. Next turn, I'll have some decent stacks ready to throw against the Swedes. Excellent. How's my tech going? Lovely. It's going really well. Ah, might want to send... Next turn I'll get Bordeaux to start working on Free Trade Doctrine. Cool. Let's end the turn. Oh yeah. Forces coming in from the west of the United States, moving up. Mm -hmm. Didn't think about this, did you, Austrian? Not Austrian, the Russians. I'd like to send an army to hit Crimea to really start screwing them up, but I think I just need to fortify uh, that top breakout, considering I'm now fighting against the Swedes as well. Landing on the Swedish in Swedish territory might be a bit tricky. Let's see, this is how it starts. They want me to give them up Canada, the Bahamas, and Portugal for Lombardy, Sardinia, and Michigan territory. And threshing machine, no. That's why I need to be ready to the drop of a hat. Could be a war of the Swedes as well. The Swe the, the Spanish as well. Hmm. Could do with the Ottomans fighting the Russians, really. But I've yet to be convinced if they'll actually do anything useful for me. Oh, Russians are moving in. Oh, they've embarked their troops. What was the point of that? <laughs> that was really dumb. So, the Swedes, the Americas. Oh, I do have walls. And they've got crap units. I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> 
<laughs> we will see. Um, they have no artillery, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. I can't remember if I had tier 1, tier 2 fort, so I suspect it'll be tier 2 because it's the US capital. Well, it was the US capital before I captured it. Oi, oi. My sons must have liberty. Oh, yes, tier 1, perfect. Poor old Swiss, uh, Sweden. So I don't need to. So priority is not the center rank. Priority isn't the centers. It's yeah. My pikes can't deploy on walls. Sadly, It'd be great if they could. But let's just put a thing down here. The units are good. It's uh, in the combat, but I think they're just going to get absolutely shot to bits. So if anything, I might move you here. Move you there. No, actually, they are coming from the flank. So you go there. You go there. Just be massed musket fire. To be honest, part of, me, part of me wouldn't be surprised if they got in, but I just think there's going to be too much firepower. You know what is tempting? To just dump my pikes out front and just fight them. Might give it a go. Because my pikes, just this is what they do. They'll just get stuck in. These are all auxiliary with just bows and muskets. So my guys are so much better at fighting than they are. So just fight them. Let's bring you over here. They're just, yeah, they're just pikes. This is what they do. They love it. Wasn't a really good idea. <laughs> Seems by now, though. But yeah, they're routing. So let's see those firing. You're not really firing. But yeah, look at that. They might be about to scale the walls up here, so let's do. Let's run you there. Let's run you. Actually, you're safe there because they're all trying to. This is their main way in, so this is they're desperately trying to. Shh. 
should have had faith in my pikes. Okay, stay where you are. Garrison those guns, because... So I want to run you here. And I want to run you over this central bit. And we have our first men on the walls. Oh, they're broken, so don't worry about them. Then let's pull my pikes back inside. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Or do I do it again? Because they're all coming back. Although, to be honest, my pikes won't survive for too much longer. See, sending in mounted tribal auxiliary. So let's run them there. Let's run this unit here. If I can line some guys up here, they can fire straight down into the combat. Yeah, they're routing. They're coming back. Yeah, my pike's starting to waver. Well, if they get up on the line and fire a volley into that combat. <laughs> Doesn't mean they've got a way in. But their horses are going to die against my horse stake thing. Or I just do something like this. run some rubbish units of militia down here just to hold them in front of the gate and then they're going to get shot to pieces by all of my guys with guns yeah my general's died but he's not a real general oh there we go the actual uh, the gates have closed themselves you must continue your attempts to climb the walls <laughs> Just put you. Let's get you back up here, actually. Yeah, just that's the the. Wait a minute. Mop them up, General. Let's not have any sneaky scamps get in through the back door. No. Just park yourself onto the uh, thing. Come on, you man. speed it up a bit because I think we all know how this is going to end. <laughs> oh, my pikes had out really well there. And granted they've routed now, but you know. Apart from that, it went really well. I've managed to hold on to Philadelphia. Turn fireball off, turn fireball on. There we go. Now get ready to fire back onto them. <laughs> there we go. 
very far into the colonial militia. Same with you. <laughs> I was going to say, is that it? No, they've still got some silly mounted tribal auxiliary. So let's knock my. put my general out here. Ah! Silly buggers. Cannot tempt you with my now dead general, in which case I'll go after you. Come on, wavering. Broken. Decisive victory. God, Sweden! Then you have the audacity to send them to attack my troops. Look at that. Good God. I guess another target. They might have done okay. But they had to pick a city with walls and a proper army. Well, proper. It's not complete junk. Absolutely intercept. Oh, it's, a, it's a shame we lost two units of infantry. Ooh, and they're going to sally out. Looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching. Well, thank, thank you, hey guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.